Hey, Luke, before you ask you about the game, any idea about Ingram yet when you went back to the locker room? Uh, he was doing a concussion protocol, um, but he was still in the middle of it when we were talking to the team, so I have no idea. What, so what, how do you react to that game where you fall down by so much, your sec, second unit brings you back in it and it, it kind of into the fight? What were your takeaway thoughts? Uh, always a lot to learn. Um, I learned some new things myself tonight. I was told that the reason that KCP, when he got hit across the face, wasn't a foul was because it was unintentional. And if the player didn't mean to hit the other guy in the face, then it's not a foul. So that was good to learn. Um, I was also told that if the referee feels the offensive player is trying to dunk the ball, that the defensive player is allowed to hit the rim and it's not goaltending. So that was, that was good to know, know that rule as well. Um, and, uh, you know, f with our guys, uh, I, I, I told them that what we take away from it is the NBA, you're never out of it. You know, it's a 20-point game, two minutes left in the, in the third quarter. And uh, you just possession by possession, you, can, you always have a chance uh, in this league. Um, and I thought our guys, our second unit, you know, Kuz and Josh were kind of rotating in and out of that. But they did an amazing job. Zubak was great. Caruso was great in the second half. Um, and the message is how, you know, that, that, that group had success because they were all playing for each other. They were playing for one another. It didn't matter how they got a stop, who was getting the shot on the other end. And because of that, they were able to compete uh, with one of the better teams in our league. And, and even though it was a second unit with guys who haven't really played a lot this year, they were playing for one another. And the, the power of of a group that does that allowed us to get back into a game. So uh, there, there's there's some positives to take away from it. Uh, obviously, the first pretty much three quarters was, was it was as bad as I've seen us play uh, defensively. Uh, the the just they, they were shooting rhythm shots. Bledsoe was might, was might as well have been in a gym by himself just shooting you know three pointers. Uh, but uh, we will watch film and learn from it and, and regroup and get back after it. Luke, uh, down the stretch, you had two opportunities to tie and, and you had a timeout and you didn't use it in those situations. Mm -hmm. Is that philosophical or, or did you kind of want to see how your younger team kind of handled that situation? A little bit of both. Uh, I, I do like letting guys go before the defense can get set. Uh, but late, I feel like w when you're losing, if you can try to get down and score quick and you don't score, do you still have a chance to foul if they miss a free throw, advance it, and get a good look. So, um, you know, that, the, the thought process was, was, you know, let's see if we can't get a quick one up and, and tie this game. And if not, then we still have – we give ourselves a, another chance by taking a quick foul, advancing the ball after the free throws. Um, but, you know, as we grow as a team, uh, m my preference is when you get that stop or you get the ball and it's a one possession game uh, to, to let the guys go, to let, them, let, let somebody make a play. What did you see from your guys in that situation? I know it's probably hard to, in the moment to know. Did you see composure? Did, did they execute the way you wanted them to in, in those moments? Tonight? Yeah. Um, yeah, we, you know, I, I, I told Kuz that, you know, at that one, we were only down to, uh, you know, look to attack the rim on that. You know, we, I, I told them that play to run at the free throw line. So it was an option that we, that we get a three pointer in case we were down three. Um, but, I th I, you know, he got a good look at it and Kuz, Kuz has a tendency to make big shots. Um, but yeah, they did, they did a nice job of, of executing. Look, with less than two weeks in the season, what's to tell you about the team's commitment and buy-in, you know, being down 20 and not just, you know, packing it in tonight? Well, it tells me that the second unit's ready to go still. Uh, you know, we need, we need, uh, and our guys have been great all year, so I'm not, I, I, I got nothing bad to say about our group, but uh, we got two weeks left and we got some really good teams coming in here that are all fighting for playoff positioning. Um, 
so we need to make sure that we are mentally and physically still into what we're doing. And what you see from Alex Caruso, we know that he should be flying any minute now to OKC to play with, with the South Bay. I thought he was a little hesitant in the first half. And, uh, you know, he's – which is, is, is tough and normal for, you know, two-way guys who are coming up and down from the G League. They're trying – you know, a lot of times they want to just make sure they're doing their job right.